All right. Hello, Taurus. This is Barb with Mystic Door Tarot, and thank you so much for joining me. Now, this is your weekly tarot reading for August 28th through September 3rd, 2023. Thank you so much if you already subscribed to the channel and welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you enjoy the reading, please consider subscribing and give it a thumbs up. So Taurus, take what resonates, leave the rest, and let's just jump into your reading. First up, The Hanged Man. Next, The Magician. The Star. Oh my goodness, Taurus. And your overall energy. The Knight of Cups. Wow. This is some pretty heavy-duty energy coming in this week. Let's see what crystal. Prey Knight. Okay. Uh, actually, my Prey Knight is pretty close. So let's bring that into the reading. Uh, if you have a yes or no question, uh, possible answer with this, but let's see what the angel answer says. Recovery. Some of you need to recover or heal. Directional oracle message, wishing well. All right. Wow. Wow. Taurus. Let me just soak this in. Holy cow. Give me a moment. I want to see what messages um, are wanting to come through. All right. Well, Taurus, there is healing going on. There is letting go of what no longer serves you going on. There is an energy of your heart's desire coming in. So there's significant change that could be taking place for you this week if you so choose, Taurus. Now, first, with the wishing well here, this is kind of like having that aha moment where all of a sudden, you realize what makes sense, that's going to be um, happening this week. You might uh, recognize uh, someone that was right in front of you ends up being your soulmate. It's that kind of energy. And you really need to kind of just set your intentions and then get out of your own way this week, Taurus. So um, it's really not trying to control how things are going to uh, work out. Now, as for recovery, uh, you could have just undergone some uh, pretty challenging emotions last week, so you might be recovering from that. It's um, definitely going to fade away. Some of you um, might be healing from heartbreak maybe breaking up, but there is um, a promise here coming through with this card. Take your time right now, get your strength, recharge your batteries, because you have a lot of joy and happiness that'll be coming in. Now, some of you are already finished, already complete with your recovery. It could have been uh, short-lived, that's all you needed, was a little bit of downtime. Send words of gratitude and start planning for the next exciting phase that's going to be coming in. So definitely for some Taurus individuals, this is just getting a little bit of rest for all this change that's coming in. And with the Pray Night Crystal, um, it says release, declutter, and it is affiliated with your heart chakra. So uh, there's a lot going on. Um, I always said that I could work a 15-hour physical day and not be as tired from having a very emotional day. So take all the time you need to kind of rest up. But the Pray Night Crystal um, wants you to kind of release any uh, stress from your physical, emotional body, and also your home environment is affecting you as well. So clear out the clutter, release and let go of anything that you no longer need. This is about being able to move forward with your life, releasing anything that might be holding you back, Taurus. So that could be relationships, your job, where you're living, maybe a project you're working on, people around you. So definitely um, 
the, the reason to release things that no longer serve a purpose to you is every object, every item, everything has energy to it. It holds a vibration and energy and do away with objects that um, are no longer needed. Um, some of them can hold negative energy as well. Now, your tarot cards. Your overall energy is the Knight of Cups. I love this. This is heading in the right direction. This is um, realizing what it is you desire. And with the Knights, this is bringing in the change. This is causing the change. This could be uh, some kind of movement or shift in the energy or something in your life. This is going after what you desire. This can be your knight in shining armor coming in. You could meet the love of your life, your soulmate. So Knight of Cups is driving, is the driving force this week for you. So something you desire um, could be love. Knight of Cups also represents being very creative. Uh, you might take up um, a hobby that you always wanted to do, something you desire. So you might uh, do something in the creative arts. And Knight of Cups is about really listening to your intuition and, and asking yourself, yeah, what is it that I desire? What do I want at this time in my life? You know, and do that when you're, you're um, resting and relaxing, you know, uh, your downtime here. Now, you have three major arcana cards, which is a, a significant change coming in. So it's kind of like a, a turning point um, for some of you. Um, that kind of change would be like uh, a mile marker birthday or uh, getting married, getting engaged, uh, the birth of a child, buying a home, something big. OK, this is not this is not small energy here. So. The hanged man is in regards to you are now looking at things um, through uh, clear glasses. Maybe you were looking uh, at the world through rose-colored glasses, hoping, wishing things might return to as they were. And now you're looking at things from a different perspective. This is a voluntary choice to really step back. And uh, like, for instance, if it's your job, it's like, uh, stepping back and going, you know, do I enjoy going to my job? You know, do I enjoy the people? Do I enjoy the work that I do? Is there something else I'd rather be doing? So the hangman is really like examining something, whether it be relationships, where you're living. Um, it, you know, it's a general reading, so it could go off in so many different directions. Maybe a project that you have been doing. Um <laughs> Oh, I don't know why they're giving me this as a uh, an example, but um, maybe somebody's doing this. They gave me because my guides gave me an example of you started this big book and you're struggling to get through it. No one says you have to read it just because you started it. So it's really stepping back and looking at what is it that you want. You know, it's mainly about this card here the knight of cups what is it that you want what do you desire do you want uh, uh romance do you want um to travel more do you want to work in a different field so the hangman card with the 12 numerology reduces down the three three is new beginnings three is the start the beginning of something new emerging for you so really exciting. Um, just ask yourself, especially in your downtime, what is it you desire? And then here's your how you're going to go about it. The magician card's coming in. This masculine energy of, you know, you have all the resources available to you, Taurus, to get the ball rolling. It doesn't have to uh, require like a lot of money. Um, if you're wanting to, let's say, start up a business or um, start in on a project. Just start planning it. Start setting the intention. Get the ball rolling. The Magician card is all about having that vision, that intent, and then you take your first step. You take some action to like breathe life into it. You're bringing it to life. So there's something that uh, you're, you're manifesting, 
by letting go of energy that maybe is hanging around you, Taurus. Um, maybe sage your home, your office, if you can. Uh, get out all the stuck and stagnant energy. It's really been difficult lately with the planetary alignment and so many planets being in retrograde. It kind of puts the brakes on everything. And in some cases, um, it's good to have some of the, the planets in retrograde. It, it helps uh, push other things forward. But for the most part, you might be feeling stuck. Now, the star card is a beautiful card in energy. This is such positive energy coming in. It's telling you to step into the light, step into that limelight, uh, put yourself first, take care of you. What is it that you want? Again, all three of these cards, and I won't be able to pick them all up, but all three of these cards, ask yourself, you know, what is it you desire? You know, what do you see differently now? What do you want to manifest? What are you good at? Step into the light. Share your gifts and talents. And that might take you to a new field, uh, possibly a second source of income. If you invest in maybe a hobby, a new interest. So definitely this week, Taurus, you are... Um, Letting go of what doesn't serve any purpose to you, letting go of things, people, um, memories, I'm going to say unpleasant memories, you're letting it all go. You're recovering from all of that. And there's significant change coming and it's going to launch you in a new direction. So um, something really significant. So it's going to be different for each and every Taurus. So let's clarify. Let's get a little bit more insight. And we'll start with the overall energy of the Knight of Cups. Although we know it's what you desire. And the Queen of Cups is very intent on her cup. You know, so focused. It's almost, um, you know, really listening to your intuition. Because the Queen of Cups is second only to the High Priestess. With the message of, you know, get focused on you, Taurus. What is it you want to be doing at this point in your life? So Queen of Cups, again, you know, uh, your emotions, your feelings, but most of all, your desires. So here we go, you know, with your overall energy, be very focused, figure it out this week. And then it's already there's significant change coming in. So let's clarify the hanged man. You're looking at something in a different way, maybe wanting to leave that job or, um, you know, maybe quit that club that you uh, no longer enjoy. It can be anything. Page of Cups. Oh, I love this because the Page of Cups always to me is expect the unexpected. That's going to make you look at something in a very different way. There's something that's going to be like right in front of you that is, um, you're going to look at it in a different way. So let's... Uh, yeah, and that's going to get the ball rolling. Pages are the messengers of the court card. So there's something that's coming in. Uh, maybe it's something that you read or you see. Some kind of communication coming in. Magician. Oh, the hermit card. Okay. Really um, trying to figure out um, getting answers to your own questions. Uh, the Hermit card is one of review, spending some time like in recovery by yourself, maybe meditating with the Pray Night Crystal, releasing, decluttering, uh, maybe making your life more simplistic. And then this beautiful star card here. Oh, the Three of Pentacles. You are getting noticed because you're, you're stepping into the light. You're getting noticed for your gifts and talents. This could be something that, um, that you're thinking about doing, but you haven't actually done it yet. It's been in your mind. You haven't done it. So Star Card is telling you, step into the light. Show what you have to offer to the world. Three of Pentacles is people noticing, noticing you, noticing your work. It can also be a card of teamwork as well. Someone might be helping you um, with something that you desire. 
maybe introducing you to someone that that you uh, like that they know maybe getting a tip off for um, a job at a company you want to work for maybe someone telling you about a new home in a different neighborhood that once uh, you go and look it up it's something that uh, where you would like to live so three of pentacles with this three energy that is something that's trying to come out and emerge for you taurus so um it it looks like give it a lot of thought and you can do that in your downtime your rest time and see what it is you know what's all this cup energy what do you desire now your last message here is your starlight message so let's see what's coming through for taurus for the week ahead what does taurus need to hear a little encouragement here okay here we go reevaluate in the starlit sky we look for the falling stars okay that's telling me Taurus if there was something that you were thinking about or you kind of edged into trying it but it didn't go well this is kind of telling you think about it again the hanged man card look at it in in a different way a different angle a different light uh, through uh, a fresh pair of eyes um, because there's something that's wanting it's showing up again maybe coming around um, trying to get your attention it's an energy that's trying to come in and maybe couldn't because of all the clutter so this is a beautiful card um, just saying it all reevaluate because we still look for the falling stars that's what we notice when we look up to the stars, the ones that move, even if it is a falling star. So definitely you're going to manifest something this time that, you know, maybe um, you didn't make a go of it before, but try it again. It's almost like um, there's a second chance coming in this week for you, Taurus. So be sure to recognize it and grab it your heart's desire all right taurus thank you so much for joining me today please be sure to subscribe and like the video and visit my website if you'd like to continue with a private reading love and abundance to my taurus family